that you are uh, actually a very good speaker. And I think I have seen you. <laughs> yeah, your face is not unknown to me. You, it's quite familiar. Okay. So how, how, how do you know me? So how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Fine. And how about your day? How was it? Uh, you know, my day, my day was good. And usually it is good. So today it was good. It was as usual. You didn't do anything special? A special? I, I didn't do a special, but I thought a lot of things are special. So it will be done in future. OK, great, great. Fine. OK, so uh, I would like to know your um, intention, I can say, or you are here. So what do you want from yourself? Apart from communication skills, obviously you are here to improve your communication skills, right? Anything that you specially want from this language? No, I'm not interested in this language. I'm more than this language. I'm interested in just speaking with people, you know, talking with people and talking about different subjects of this world. Yeah, I know English is language and it just be treated as language. So yeah, it, I want to improve it. I want to be better than yesterday, you know. So yeah. that's all. And after that, yeah, I love talking. I love talking about different subjects mm -hmm. and uh, giving my opinion and as well as knowing the opinion of people. OK, so it's not the concern of only language, but you love talking to people. Yes. Strangers. OK, great, great. Fine. Um, so what would you want to do Did, if you have gone through the topic? So would you like to start from there only or you would like to talk something in general? No, we can talk about anything. We can talk if about you want to talk about topic, then we can talk about topic because I'm good at talking. That's all I know. You're, you're good at talking. Yes, I'm very good at talking. Oh, great. Great. Then let's see how good you are at it. Fine. If I ask you about your ambition, what do you want to do in your life? Ambitions, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have any ambitions. Being ambitious means, you know, not enjoying the present moment. Okay. So that's why I'm not ambitious at all. Yeah, I used to be. But when I came to know, when I came to in my consciousness and it is growing every day. So when it's grown, then I found one thing that ambitious people are just dead because of ambition. So I have to be alive. So I keep my ambition aside. I enjoy in the moment. That's all. Yes, if you ask about my target, like ambition right now, not it is ambition, just I think I if I could travel all around the world, it would be better for me. I would love to do this. OK, so I didn't ask you uh, which country you belong to. I belong to India. I'm Indian. Like you yeah. could have seen me before. Like well, I, I, you, could, you could have recognized me that I'm Indian. Yeah, I can Except recognize Indian, you. Who can talk like this in Indian you know, accent? You directly just said that I would like to travel in different countries. You didn't mention state even. And I would like to change the state first. You directly said I that. I have I... been to estates in India, so okay. what to travel in India now? I told you I have been many estates of India. I have been to Nepal. You know, I have been lots of nearby place. So okay. now I think, you know, I need to experience international traveling. OK, great. But what would be your next target then? I think, you know, mm -hmm. Ireland is nearby India like it it is like you know three hours or four hours journey so mm -hmm. I want to go to Thailand first so oh. I, I could break a little bit hesitation I have you know and after that I will have wings to fly all over this world oh great have you ever heard of uh, the food that are foods that are available in Thailand would you like that I don't think so no I'm not interested in food i'm interested in place i'm interested in uh, like it's lots of other stuffs yes i i love food too so uh, i i will arrange it there i have yeah. to not plan here usually people survive in maggie if they go there because usually they don't like the food that are available there fine okay great let's have try you been to, to thailand 
Uh, I have never been, but yeah, we had chance like when I was in my college, so we were given that chance to go there. I heard few things there, so some of my friends went there and they survived in Maggie only because they didn't like the food. Okay, fine. Uh, so uh, let's try to talk something about uh, the topic as well. If I ask you, um, you live in joint family or nuclear family? Something about your family? Uh, family, like mm -hmm. I'm in joint family okay. because my father is only mm -hmm. a children of my child of mine. Not should, I should say children because he is only one. Okay, so my father is yeah only son of my grandfather. So I'm living in joint family with my grandfather. Uh, my grandmother is no more now, but I uh, she pampered me a lot. She loved me a lot when she was alive. So I had a, you know, fortune to enjoy with my grandmother and grandfather. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. OK, so you have all the memories of your grandmother. Yes. Okay. Fine. OK, so if I ask you how uh, your family is important for you. Yeah, my family is important for me. Mm -hmm. uh, how it is important? Yeah, in every aspect. Like uh, when I was a child, you know, if I couldn't have family, then I couldn't have got the love, care, and nobody would have been there to pamper me. So I would have, you can understand the situation, like how I would have to survive. But because of my family, I got everything that one gets in this world from family. You know, they tried their best to give me education and everything. So family has been the immense importance, things of impo immense importance in my life. Exactly. So right now you are able to calculate all the things that you have gotten from them. So what do you think? Would it be same after your marriage, let's say? No, I don't think so. And oh. I will have to be honest because I'm not like other people in this world who will be talking about like, no, everything is my father and mother. On the other hand, somebody else is everything for them, you know. So I'm not that kind of guy. Now see, time to time, we have different sort of requirement. Like when I was child, you know, my mother, you know, used to kiss me, hug me, you know, so, so many things. But now, yeah. He couldn't, right? You understand or not? So needs yeah. has been changed. Everything has been situation has been changed, and even it she would like to do it. It is not like she would not feel good. I will. I will not feel good. Same thing happens with our family. Like when I have wife or I am getting married, you know, I have to play other responsibility in my life as well. So now it is very natural that I will be not that much inclined towards my parents you know, that I was before. But I, I I think my respect for them will never, you know, vanish. It will be remain same. So I'll be respecting them. But, you know, I will have to also take care of new things that I'm, you know, holding someone's hand. So I have to be also responsible for her. Yeah, exactly. you know, and she her children. Mm -hmm. You'll be having your other responsibilities. So how yeah, much course. will be responsible towards your parents just only by money or if they need something else from you as well if they need love and care from you the way they have done the way they have loved you pampered you when you needed it yeah yes i i will be always with them for this you know uh, yeah. uh, i know because like when i was child they need uh, they had given me love they pampered me so when they will be child because old age is childhood just childhood you know, so once again, I have to also return back those things to them. Otherwise, I will be in debt and I am kind of person never want to be in debt. Exactly. Very well, very well. So if you uh, can recall the manners or the etiquettes that you have learned from your parents. Then oh, the lot that of... you still follow. You can hmm, compare like how to hard stuff. work. Oh. How to work hard. How to yeah. not get frustrated in any situation, be brave, stand tall in any situation. I've learned from my father, from my family, from my mother, lots of other other stuff. Uh, because I've seen that my father, you know, working mm -hmm. so hard in his life. And yeah. uh, 
like he was kind of he is kind of man you know mm-hmm. in a scorching sun it, it is nothing like he he can work in a scorching sun you know in rainy days in everything he is farmer so um, yeah, learned, I <laughs> yes i learned from him that how to be honest with our own work and how to be you know uh, how to stand tall in any situation great so they have taught you to be a hard worker can you convince me that you are a hard worker yes i yeah. can because since a uh, age of 18 years i am very responsible person and uh, not for my own life i am responsible for others life too like i am teacher and i have been teaching and you yes. know responsibility of teaching is okay. you can understand what kind of yes. Respons- responsibility yes. it is what you teach may i know that yes i teach chemistry you know okay. I, i used to teach so many subjects but <laughs> i am a chemistry specialist oh great great it's my, it must have been your favorite subject so that you have to yeah know. it was my favorite subject but in language english was my favorite subject but somebody <laughs> told me like you know chemistry is very career oriented subject it will be good for your future so i left english and i did everything in chemistry after all i was speaking english today so it is good i i i think yeah. if i would have gone with english i couldn't learn i couldn't have learned chemistry well but right now yes good like i'm also a good in chemistry and we're getting mm-hmm. better in english yeah everything is going simultaneously so it's very well fine okay yeah you i can tell you that you are uh, actually a very good speaker <laughs> as you said that you like to talk and i could recognize i could um, understand that you are definitely fine anything wouldn't you want to ask me anything oh uh, yes session? please can i know about you a little bit what do you want to know yes i i what do you want to know Oh, what do I want to know? I want to know about your like background, mm-hmm. uh, education, coming from any stuff, work. What do you do? Yeah. Yeah, basically, I work as an English trainer itself, and my background is mathematics. Just like you loved chemistry, I loved mathematics. I loved English too, but in just in language, in the sense of language. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, it's something you know, else. Let me. Yeah. Yes. Let me tell you, I loved mathematics too, and I always got good marks in mathematics only. You know, I ne in my intermediate examination or in high like plus tenth, in both examination, ah, my highest mark was in mathematics. But after all, I was good at chemistry. I was interested in it, but I got good marks in mathematics. Yeah. Exactly. After all, it's after all, it's a quite uh, scoring subject, mathematics. we had interest you know i too had interest in chemistry because i really loved the formulas that we had you know uh, whatever like now i have forgotten it but still whatever we had at that time i really loved that so yeah it was fine anything else you would like to ask me or else no nothing yeah but as a feedback i can tell you i really loved talking to you you are actually a very good speaker and i think i have seen you <laughs> yeah your face is not unknown to me you it's quite familiar okay so how 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 do you know me do you I know me from before uh no like oh, i okay. think okay during you. this session you like okay got that no i think i have seen you on youtube okay thank you <laughs> okay you have already seen me on youtube yeah I didn't watch the videos fully, but you know some things like come come under the suggestions. So like in the home screen of mine. So it was something like that. <laughs> Fine. Well, it was very very uh, beautiful. Okay. So how was that video? Please let me know a little bit um, about that video. What I watched, you know, what I watched. Uh, I saw that girl. She was from America. Or what? She was oh, from. foreign country i watched that one that was too in the short video you know uh, the thumbnail was something that uh, maybe she was angry that probably she was saying that don't use me for your um, you know followers fame. or something like <laughs> fame it was right for your followers so it was something like that i didn't watch that fully because obviously i wasn't aware that i would get you in the future <laughs> otherwise i would have watched that fully <laughs> fine but yeah it was great 
Okay. So I, I'm getting famous, I think, you know. Nowadays, yeah. who, whoever meets me, <laughs> tell me, you know, I know, I have seen you somewhere. I would, be, I, I would ask, where have you seen me just, you know. Then he will say, let me remind, okay, on YouTube. <laughs> then I say, yes, you could have seen me. Such a great victory for you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Fine then. Hope so. We'll meet soon. Goodbye. Have a good Bye. night. Bye. Yeah, night.